What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the molar solubility of cobalt hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do, we have cobalt hydroxide. I'm going to say COOH3 in solid form. When it dissolves, it's going to produce cobalt 3 plus plus 3 OH minus. So initially, we don't write it for solid. Initially, there is no cobalt ion. But since we have hydroxide, we know it's 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 from water. Molar. Change will be negative x plus x plus 3x. Again, we don't write the equilibrium and initial for solid. Equilibrium is going to be x 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 plus 3x. So KSP will be equal to 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 43 equals to cobalt 3 to the power of 1 because the coefficient is 1 times hydroxide to the power of 3. So cobalt is x. OH is going to be 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 plus 3x to the power of 3. Now, in order to make it simplified, what we can do, because the KSP value is very small, I can say 3x can be neglected compared to 1, point, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7. So we're going to say 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 43 equals to x times 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 to the power of 3. So x will be 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 43 over 10 to the power of negative 21. That's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 22 mole per liter. That's going to be the molar solubility of cobalt hydroxide. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave, leave me a comment if you have any question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.